Hi, it's Rod Rodriguez with University Scouts. Are here with our head coach, Ken Stabolo. Ken, hey, give me uh, some details as to how this game went today. Today, the team, you know, first game was a little rough. Second game, much better. Third game, even better. Um, I don't really go by goals. I don't judge the benefit of the team on the goals because we got better work. So what I do is the team plays better. I work out this way. Absolutely. You also did a great job because a lot of these students were here for the first time. You were able to create a team. Tell me how that felt, creating a synergy amongst these players. Well, that happens all the time. You know, people still we had parents say, uh, how do you get the team to play? You never played with these kids before. They never played together. And you came here today, you'll see. The first game is a struggle. I my players. I say, where are my players? Who's, who's better at what? What position they're better at? Together, by the second game, it gets better, the third, and so on. By the end of this tournament, you're going to think this team played together for six months. Absolutely. So Ken, uh, as far as the coaches that were here at this Hofstra event, did you see a lot of coaches? I did. Actually, the first game, I think I saw you know every, every top school in Division Two and some Division One. Uh, Denver was here, Limestone was here, Cornell was here, a lot of schools. There's a, there's a, there's a good tournament. We played a championship flight. It's been a very difficult fight. There's a reason for it. This is where all coaches do. Absolutely. You did a tremendous job coaching our team throughout the four events that we've, we've done. Which one of these events you thought was your best? Uh, probably um, it was a toss up between Lehigh and uh, Bryant. Awesome. Bryant. They were two good players. We had some, we had some really good players and uh, we sucked it up. And I got to say, the Bryant game, we had a lot of guys that had to go early that tournament. And uh, what we did was we took 12 players to the And the 12 that stayed, you know who you are, if you're watching this, you guys were fantastic. We sucked it up and we won the game and we played with a lot of heart. And one of the other players is the other thing. These kids hustle, go drop balls, scoop through, go rig, go to the ball, pass Chris, fade your man. Play fundamental lacrosse, that's how we become a better team. Game in and game out, that's how you become a better team. And I know you've helped a lot of students get recruited and find opportunities at a collegiate level. Um, tell me, do these things work? Is this something that can benefit a I don't, student? As you know, you know, every year, every student gets looks. Just about every, every kid that plays in these tournaments will probably get some kind of letter, email, right some spot. kind of inquiry uh, with the school. I'm not going to guarantee you. I can't guarantee scholarships, I can't guarantee you're going to you know, get into a school because of it, but you will get interest, and it's up to you to follow that. Absolutely. And the great thing is, again, all of these efforts will be on the website. They'll give the student the opportunity to use the progress report, and also give them the opportunity now to get noticed. So we really appreciate it, Ken. Tremendous as also. Thank you so much, and thank you again, Wolfpack. All right, now. Good job, boys.